We have returned to Oracle of Seasons, part 27, and I've decided to show off, off doing this room again, even though it frustrates the fuck out of me, as demonstrated by the Spam Sword. Spam Sword. Similar to the Rage Dance. Both sincere expressions of agonizing failure. <laughs> I thought I was on the other polarity. I thought you were on the platform. I was not on either of those things. I think I, I, think I finally Damn realized... It. I think I finally realized what's so pleasant about Link's sprite when he's looking south is that, like, his... One hand is held in front of him, and the other hand is at his side, so it's either he's about to break into a run or break into song. Right. It's like... No! <laughs> yes, use that as your checkpoint. Yep, you, yep. That's a, that's a great idea, actually. Because now, if you fall into one of these bullshit pits, you start that much closer. Yay. And yes, you are required to have the rock escape to do that. You cannot do it otherwise. I dislike these enemies. These enemies suck. They want you to use the magnet gloves, but they stand still long enough so you can hit them while they're not moving. So stupid. <laughs> so the whole dungeon is just... stupid. Move it up a couple of spaces. Clank. Put up one more space. More concussions. Yay! So now we're back in here. Uh huh. Way. That's right. Push. Uh, no, no, no. Push the magnet block down. Uh, what the fuck is that staircase? Oh, the staircase. Yeah. Is no, 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 you still get, you still got it. Yeah, I know, but I just jumped a half the dungeon backwards for a small key. Yeah, well, at least that, at least it wasn't the treasure map. If that was the treasure map, I would have had to slap somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in time and slap the There, like I have jump cut into this room. I <laughs> hate this room. There are at least, like, five people on Capcom's staff roster who need a good slap. <laughs> the problem with this room is that after you have uh, opened the key block, well, now the tiles start flying at you. And you need some of the tiles there in order to cross. Not all of them, thankfully, but some of them. And you can't yes. stand on the crack tiles because, well, I don't have the, ro nope. I don't have the rocks ring on, so they crumble. Right. They'll... Once again, urgency. What the shit? And you have to do this right in one take. If I had the rock, if I had the rocks, uh, the uh, rocks ring, this would actually be much simpler. But I don't have it on me right now. Yeah. My God. I actually, I actually forgot about this room. I can't believe this I is, forgot this room. This is the most room. bullshit room in this dungeon. Well, I hope we've made it perfectly clear right now that, you know, 75% of this dungeon is composed of bullshit. Yes, 75% of it. This is a good 30% of that 75%. Especially because you can't heal once you're down here. That's right, you gotta use the enemy drops. But the enemy drops are inconsistent as hell. Oh boy. Yep. Yep. I purposely uh, threw myself into a pit for a game over. Let's try this one more time. P urgency plus precision platforming is not a good mix. Right. I, I realize. It's one of the problems that Sonic actually has. Urgency, precision platforming, and bad platforming controls is even worse. Now, it's, it's... The longer we're in this dungeon, the more I'm reminded as to why I hate it so much. But yeah, not all the tiles actually get thrown at you. Some of them remain. 
unfortunately, you can't stand on the cracks. So, here's what you're supposed to do for this. Instead of being incredibly urgent, you wait until the puzzle th uh, until the puzzle gives the fuck up, and then you cross it. You have to you have to wait for the kamikaze floor tiles to stop. Yep. Now you can cross almost perfectly fine. So look, there are no tiles. It's nothing to knock you off the platform. Finally, maybe safe. Ugh. Goddamn two gap two. Why can't everything just be a three jump? <laughs> Make things so much easier. All right, there we go. That's how you solve that. You wait. Thank God for room by room checkpoints. Fuck, mold arms. Boom. Die. All of you must die. Why does it take more than one bomb to kill a Moldorm? I think bombs only do like one unit of damage. No, bombs do like two or three points of damage. Ah. Four. Three. Two. He's just on the other side of the screen now. He one. does not care. Moldorm does not care. <laughs> Moldorm knows no fear. <laughs> Oh look, more bullshit. <laughs> really? I'm so shocked. <laughs> it's just becoming laughably poor how, how this dungeon is just goddamn frustrating. Uh-huh. And because I was unable to kill the Moldorm while I was up while I was up here with bombs, I have to go down there now. All of those tiles can break. Oh well, yeah, but you have to did you just... Oh, I thought you just trapped the Moldorm for a second. Uh -huh. ah. The Moldorm is actually immune to breaking tiles. He bounces off of them. Goddamn oh, Moldorm. Get over here. Get over here, I say. You're not Scorpion Demon. You're not even a Scorpion Demon. <laughs> Goddamn Moldorms. Thank you for the clue, game. It was very helpful. Not. I uh, have to switch your uh, inventory every time. Now, uh, Johnny brought this up in his review for Link's Awakening. I think it's better in the Oracle games, honestly, that uh, the... the Oh. I, uh, Cloud and I both hate this mini-boss, but... Yeah, this mini boss is pretty painful. Hey, painful Boom. because watch! Boom! All that shit you just did, do it over again! Do it because the dungeon demands it! Mm -hmm. What were you gonna say, Gruta? <laughs> Before the Amos Knight started just fucking can't can You see the, the problem room. with this particular room now, Cloud? <laughs> yes, I left that in there because literally all the almost knights except the last one that I checked were were uh, hostile. Damn it. Damn it. Thankfully, you can if you can intercept the ghosts before they actually blow out the candles, they will not actually blow out uh, blow out the uh braziers, but these guys have a lot of health. Not really, but uh, but you have to keep an eye on both of them, and that's the real problem. Yeah. And so we are halfway through this dungeon. And thus like half of the annoyance of going through this dungeon. Oh yeah, this just... du this dungeon is actually almost over. This is the last room. Well, it's one of the last rooms. You have to the, the boss room is right above you. Um, and you have to you have to get the boss key first. Yes, the boss key but, is literally in that chest. But you have a shortcut now, so you don't have to pull your hair out every time you get a game over. It reduces the difficulty dramatically, so you're not losing health on the way to where you fucking were. Right. I'm sorry, that was just a one rupee chest. The last and most challenging dungeon of the game is actually more enjoyable than this bullshit. 
Yes, the Sword and Shield dungeon only has one particular bullshit moment, and that's the acquiring of the Hyper Slingshot. Everything else in that dungeon is actually awesome. Yeah. And it's and it feels reasonably challenging, as opposed to this, where it's like, we're just gonna throw a bunch of whiz robes at you. <laughs> Fuck you too! Fuck you, whiz robes! <laughs> Oh god. I I, just, I can't. I just can't. No more. So, oh you know that per, that technique that you've only just kind of started using? Yeah, perfect it. Perfect it. Embrace it. Immerse yourself in the skill. Don't ever let go. Cuz if you do, you will die. <laughs> I hope you like the sound of the magnet gloves being deployed way longer than you like it to, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, no, fuck this, just rocks, just rockscape. Three good do, you can too. That's the way out. Or it's, oh, 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 okay. Or, oh, right, because if you, if you push that one, you wouldn't have been able to escape. <laughs> And now, no. you have to clear the room of enemies. Ah, fuck this dungeon. I am so sick of looking at pits. <laughs> and that's really the only di that's really the only thing in this dungeon that provides any significant challenge. The fact that there's bottomless pits fucking everywhere. Yeah. It's like yeah, Castlevania it's... with knockback. It's like... Eventually, you get to the point where, like, like I have right now, the sight of pits just automatically causes pain because of the frequent associations this dungeon has made. One more whiz rope, then we can get the small key. Where is he? There he is. He's dead. Yay. Alright, then. Now, no, we do not clear the we do not clear the uh, the dungeon in this part, <laughs> sadly. But it's like every every time Blink falls into a pit, it's just like, why? Why did you throw me into a pit? No! <laughs> Fuck! All right. This puzzle. I actually like this puzzle. I do. I just wish it didn't require the, the, the gimmicky as all fuck rocks, uh, rockscape. Oh yeah, this bullshit. Nope. You already fucked yep, up. Yep, you've already fucked it up. However, I still really enjoy this puzzle. This puzzle is awesome. Yeah, this puzzle does require just a l you know, a little creativity. That's wrong, says the game. What you gotta do is, for the first one, use the Pegasus Seeds in order, in order to jump on uh, the first one. Yes. Wait for the Pegasus Seeds to run out, and then uh, jump on the second, and then the third. I'm glad that they give you a little indicator to let you know that you're not doing it correctly. Otherwise, this could come off as really uh, confusing. Unfortunately, you do actually have to use the Pegasus Seeds in order to actually solve this one. Yeah, it's the only way to clear the jump to the, the first platform. I wish you could solve it in 3-2-1 fashion. That would be oh, nice. Oh, hey, look. 2-3-1. 23 is number one. Aren't you glad I told you that? Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yay. And now we wait. <laughs> this, is, this is almost a victory dance. Yay! And in the next part, we will finish off Explorer's Cave. Crypt. <laughs>